Yes, sure. Hi. Hi. Nafe. Nafe. Beautiful. Pleasure. Very good. Very good, man. Good to meet you. So, uh, yeah. like, are you guys, uh, w w what is uh, your uh, viewpoint? I mean, like, is it, I mean, are you against Islam or like, are you? I'm sorry? Or Islam or like, I mean, how is it? I'm here to tell the truth about Islam. Okay. Yeah. Are you Muslim? Yes. Beautiful. That's good. Yeah. I'm here to tell the truth about Islam, which they don't know. Oh, I understand. Okay. Because yeah. your uh, signboards, you know, actually made it seem like as if you were against Islam. Though. So I'm just trying to figure out. Well, like, I don't know. A lot of people, they say that because I'm saying that uh, yeah. Muhammad is not a prophet. So I ask them, Muhammad is a prophet, so prove it, you know. How okay. can you prove that Muhammad is a prophet? Right. So, and then I have a sign here, who wrote the Quran? So, but unfortunately, they don't have answers. So, if you are Muslim, please let me know uh, how you prove that Muhammad is a prophet. No, I mean, you yeah, know, like, I mean, it's all a, a, a part of your belief, right? Uh, I mean, like, um, in if you believe in the, the Quran, um, if you accept Quran as you know the word of uh, God, right? I mean, that is what you're supposed to believe in us. Right? Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. If, if, you, if you believe that is word of God, mm -hmm. but my claim is Quran is not a word of God. Okay. I mean, how are you going to prove that that's word of God? Okay. Um, I guess like in terms of like proving things, you, you, you can't really prove a lot of you know, um, a lot of like events or uh, items basically, it's about what you believe in and, and it's about like what uh, resonates some um, uh, with you, you know, the, 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 the most actually, right? Th that, that's um, right, you know. Uh, as in like, do I have proof that uh, Quran is, you know, the, the word of God? No. But do I believe Quran is, you know, the word of God? Yeah, uh, sure. So right? that that yeah. means that Allah is not enough to prove you guys this book come from God? I mean, Allah is limited. You know, I think when you have absolute power and when you have a full control, right? I mean, like, um, Allah has actually already uh, created angels the the purpose of whom is that they believe and they worship and they uh, serve him fully basically um, uh, he has exposed himself to them um, they have uh, uh, witnessed him okay and um, it's just that when you have something in front of you, it's hard to actually, you know, like, I mean, you will not believe in it though, but then he, he created humans to whom he actually gave uh, free will. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, like, I mean, if I give you concrete proof, then there would be no question about me or like, you know, um, uh, your belief in me though. But let me just pass on this message and this like book as my word to you and I just want to see who actually takes the time and the effort to actually you know, like, uh, uh, go through it and believes in me because of their own research as opposed to just because like I've exposed you know like my own eyes help out which will be right to them though. Are you uh, a, a Christian? Yes, or? I'm okay, a Christian, right? yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So, but um, like I said, if you are a Muslim and Allah cannot prove you that this is book is from me or I send it to you, so how can, if I give you the book and I say this is, I am a prophet, so believe in me, are you going to believe in me? I mean, you know, like, I mean, if, I mean, uh, you could also apply these uh, questions to uh, uh, Christianity. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, like, that's fine. Yeah, that you, goes both ways. Yeah, yeah like, but you know, how do you even prove that, uh, you know, the Bible or, or Jesus is is an 
actual profit, or you know, like I mean, uh, um, he was actually you know like receiving the the, the, the word of God, or um, he he is actually you know the son of uh, God, right? I mean, brother, what you are asking that? me that it's it's written in the Bible completely. He said that I come from my father, and father is uh, you know say my is my son, and son he says my father. So it's written in the Bible, okay? Right. And this is written is he's a God, okay? He came to this world, he died for our sin as a as a flesh, not a God died. As a flesh, he died, and then he went back, and then he's gonna come back, and after three days he raised. So you know, so he's gonna come back. So we have everything in the Bible. So we don't have to be say that this is okay. But my question is that when come to Muhammad, if Muhammad is a prophet of God, prophet mean it has a connection with God. So there should be a connection showing in the Quran. Is my he's my prophet and I send it to him. So how are you guys gonna prove that according I to Quran? Don't have the exact uh, quotes and you know like references from uh, Quran on me presently, but. I do know that it explicitly uh, says in you know the the you know Quran that Muhammad is is you know actually prophet. Yeah. Okay. God. So you read the Quran. So you read the Quran. So not uh, fully. Not. So so then why you are Muslim? Well, I mean you know like I mean I haven't researched into it fully though, but from my limited research uh, mm. so far, mm. um, Islam is actually what, you know, uh, uh, connects with me the most actually, right? So, no, brother, uh, my question is still, if you have read the Bible, I mean, Quran, how can you say that, why you are so Christian, I mean, Muslim, sorry, why you are Muslim? It just, you know, like, Because I mean, you're born in the family my, and father and mother and... Lineage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. But don't you think so that... Uh, I'm glad why you stop here to ask me what I'm doing. That's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If I'm going to try to show you something, are you going to be considered something which is you, your Allah can be wrong or your God is whatever you well, believe? I mean, you know, like, I mean, unless you prove yeah, that's what that I'm saying. Yeah. somehow, yeah. my, my understanding would be, you know, like, I mean, that I'm, I mean, like, I'm just a, a program to believe that, that, that you're uh, wrong unless you show me like some proof something which, yeah, yeah. Which, which like like I'm, me that's what I'm here for it, right? to, uh, if you yeah. can't I, I can tell you the very very common issue okay with the Quran yeah. and being Islamic or uh, as a Muslim all right okay Muslim believe Allah is a God all right and Muhammad is prophet and Allah sent messenger Jibreel or Gabriel to him right. and give the Quran to him. Yep. That's what we believe all Muslims. Yep. Okay, yep. that's a story. It's coming from, I don't know, God knows, 1600 years or two, okay, whatever the numbers. Okay. Yeah, so, so ago, this, okay, yeah. time ago, long time, okay. But how can you saying this to, to people like you, you never, first of all, Arabic is not your language, I can believe it. And that will be forced to people 90 percent of the world they do not speak or understand arabic all right and they unfortunately they have to recite everything in arabic all right yep. so my concern is here if you now read the quran how are you going to know that muhammad talked to angel or muhammad talked to allah he never spoke to allah he never spoke to uh, angel that's a biggest lie being told to muslim people and they don't have a courtesy just like you to go and search for that all right because i'm not saying that you're wrong even your parents even imam and whoever they never knew the truth because <laughs> pakistan or india where you come from or where i come from those part of the world we don't understand arabic yeah. so what they do they listen imam they listen uh khutba and uh, mulana and all that whatever mulana say that and we start believing it yep. instead of we are searching okay so my question is that because the quran we have which is printed in 1924 and the one muhammad time the second quran we are asking people they're saying it's preserved it's been never been changed word, word to word and you know we have our original quran so we have a prize here for muslim people if they can bring second uthmani quran which is been time to muhammad time so you guys don't have that and 
and I asked them to show me that even it was angel was talking to Muhammad. Quran is empty. Quran cannot tell you that. And if if it cannot be proved, Muhammad was talking to angels, so that case is closed because it cannot be a godly book. He's one, the one who's saying that everything himself. He made up all the stories because there is no angel. If it's the angel, I understand that. We have no problem. We believe angel spoke to uh, before uh, Muhammad all the prophets, okay? But when you come to the case of Islam, that's all false. It's not true at all. Okay. Um, have you actually uh, read the Quran? Yes. Like properly? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 I, I planning to come. I planning to come to Muslim. Okay. And um, I was trying to get married with a Muslim girl, Indian girl. Pakistan. And uh, I'm from Pakistan, so but yeah. uh, you know, yeah. from India. Me as well. From Pakistan or India? Pakistan. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Karachi. Lahore. Lahore, say Punjabi. Okay, that's Andiyan. one. All right, that's good. So Punjabi, Punjabi. Punjabi. Okay, that's good. So. Up. Uh, Karachi, sir. लेकिन पंजाबी के बारे में या लेकिन पंजाबी सारे बजट का दिया या तो या so what happened that so I was saying okay look I don't want to bring two religion in the family let's try I'm going to study Quran and you study Bible but even though I never studied Bible before so I spent one year to read the Quran and when I see this is a Quran, this it doesn't look like, you know, that I bring Hadith from Pakistan all in Urdu because we read Urdu and, you know, so yeah. I start getting so all the Quran from Pakistan and the Hadiths, you know, all the Hadiths I bring it. So I start studying Hadiths and the Qurans. But when I see that's not the God to me, it looks like. So then I start reading a Bible and the God showed me who he is. And, and then I find out this is oh, all. Like yeah. The fact that you actually study the Quran and you study the Bible, yes. and Bible resonated with you, you know, the most. I mean, I you can actually uh, respect that, right? Uh, personally, I haven't studied the Bible at all. Um, I've actually studied the Quran not in a great, you know, uh, detail. So I Brother, only, only Muhammad times it's it's in four times in the Quran, only four times, unfortunately, and that never connected to Allah. Okay. It never connected to Allah. Right. It's somebody saying that, you know, who's saying that? Okay. And the plus, whatever Quran is in there, I can, I I prove you Allah is wrong. Allah is a liar. I can prove you so many ways. You know, if you give me a chance, I can prove you one small example. I can show you that, okay? But Allah is completely liar in the Quran, all right? Okay. Don't take my word. I will prove you that, okay? If I'll be wrong, you know, then prove me. Uh, if uh, I, yeah, yeah. Fine. Um, so, I'll, uh, yeah, you know what? Let me, are you here like... I'm here Saturday and Sunday. I'm here, yes. Often? I mean, uh, uh, so every Saturday and Sunday. All... Uh, all, year all the year, like yes, all yes, 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 yeah. Okay, so if you have any question, you can come, yeah, please, yeah. And, and like I said, I can prove you, you I have like a tent of, you know, those uh, examples from how Allah is liar in the Quran. Okay. He lying, okay, people. Right. So can you imagine that if Allah is lying, and how can another prophet can do it? When prophets say that three times you can lie in your life, what kind of prophet you can believe that it's giving you that you can lie? Because Bible say that liar cannot come to kingdom of God, cannot. Mm -hmm. When the Quran, Muhammad was saying that we have a hadith, Muhammad said that you can lie three times. Oh, so this is totally against the God of the Bible and God of the Quran. Okay. So. Right. Yeah, man. Sure thing. Thank you very much, sir. God Appreciate bless it. you. All right. So you, we have a you YouTube do. channel yeah. and you can watch it, Bible or Quran. So sure yeah, thing. so you can right. watch a video and all the stuff Sounds is in there. Good, God bless you brother. Take care. Take care, bro. Bye bye.